Hi guys, beautiful morning. So our broiler breeders are feeding. It's quiet inside here and it's a spectacular sight. Yeah, so we feed the broilers once every day, ideally. And let me show you exactly how we do it. <laughs> As you can see, the birds are feeding. These are our feeding troughs. You can see them. It's one long line running right from here to the very end. And you can see the birds are very focused. They're hungry. You know, in a very short while, this food will get over. You can see my gambots. I'm passing really close by and they're not walking away. Why? Their desire to eat food is much more than their fear for me. Of course, if it was during daytime and I was passing by clothes like this, they would all run away. But right now, they don't give a damn, yeah? So, those are the feeders you can see. We have four lines like this. I can show you the other, yeah? So, right here, we have another one. These ones are also females, okay? So, you can see them. This is another line of feeders, line number two. Line number three of feeders right here. And line number four of the feeders right here you can see them feeding very nicely and right here at the bottom you can notice that some of the feed has already started getting done you see at the end here well at the end we put a bit less food so that it doesn't spill out since these feeders have been improvised and made by us yeah made by us everything was just welded naturally you can see that this is metal that we we painted and sprayed uh, we made ourselves then painted and sprayed this is a plastic pipe and it's supported down by you know supports you can see them right there so all this is fabricated and made by us that way the expenses are reduced but it's very very effective and then you'll wonder why we have such kinds of feeders for the breeders and why we have these now the purpose of these is that we want the males and the females to eat different kinds of feed yeah so generally when the males become big they have really huge combs I'll try to zoom in into one. Do you see that? Its comb is very, very big. You see it? Really big. Really, really big. If that male came and tried to put its head in here, it would feel pain trying to put its head through here. It wouldn't be able to eat the food. So the purpose is that the males won't be able to eat from here. I occasionally keep seeing a male trying to come here, but when it tries to fix it, its head, and then it notices it's painful, it walks away. Yeah? So the males never eat this food because, hey, this is really, really painful for them. So this food is very highly nutritious and it's good for the females. Lots of nutrients for the females to ensure that we get good egg production. But then if we move over here, the purpose of all that is so that we get eggs. You can see that we have a female right here that is laying an egg, yeah? So our birds are already laying eggs. These are our broiler breeders. And it's from these that we're going to be supplying our day old chicks. You can already see some of the eggs, yeah? Right here, you can see that a bird has laid a nice, clean, beautiful egg. Very clean and nice, yeah? There is litter inside. I've already seen some other eggs in some different places. So all these, these are females feeding. And then I'll show you how the males feed, yeah? So these are the males. You see those? Those are the males feeding. And you'll notice it's only males on these feeders. And why? Because the feeders are very raised. Do you see? The males are generally taller than the females. If a male stood next to a female, you would see the difference. It's very big. For example, this over here is a male. Yeah? If he stood up upright, you would see his difference in height with the females that are feeding right next to him. Yeah? And his comb is very big. His comb can't enter those tiny feeders right there. If he's, well, he's, it can enter, but it would be with a lot of pain. So he tries to minimize entry of that head into that. And so in him trying to do that, he'll just walk away. For example, I've just seen a male walk over. You've seen him, he moved there, but then he has walked away. Because he tried to fix his head in there, but he just couldn't. So, all of a sudden, they just have to come back to this. But the feeders are too high. The altitude is too high for the females. So the females can't reach and eat food from here. So this is an ingenious way of making sure that the males and the females feed differently. You can see how the feeders are. You can see the males here. Yeah. Those are our males with huge combs. This is the feeder for them. And it's just supported up 
using this small tiny binding wire onto this wooden post and that's how the re the entire chicken house is as you might see that's how the entire chicken house is and um you can see our drinker system over here so these are our drinkers we just have an entire line of drinkers running from here right through to the end a line of drinkers winding right through to the end very very beautiful so i think this is an awesome way of feeding the birds you can see that we have more eggs over here you know this is another egg that has just been laid you can see it nice and beautiful you know i think i've seen more eggs two eggs that have just been laid inside here of course broilers are not like clear this one is still very warm i think it has just dropped this one is a bit colder I think this one dropped a while back. Broilers are different from layers in that they lay less eggs, of course. They lay less eggs. They're not like layers because layers are meant to lay. Broilers are generally really big birds. And in laying, you're literally just forcing them to lay. You know, they're meant to become big and be eaten as meat. But we have to make them lay eggs in order for the cycle to continue. So controlling their weight is very, very critical. Very, very critical. And so they probably, they certainly won't lay as many eggs as broilers, and they don't lay them for a long time. We usually cull them at about 65 weeks, unlike layers which we can go up to 70, 75, or even 80 weeks. So there is a big difference between the layers and the broilers. And managing broiler parents is very, very complicated. Very, very complicated. You see, the reason the broiler feed is separated like this for the males from, and from the females there's another lady over there laying and we even have two more eggs over there so the reason the broiler feed is separated for males and females is because you want the nutritious food for the females there's a guy here mounting you can see him ha huh, that's taken really long the broilers mount for a longer time uh, compared to the females probably because they are bigger so but he has just done the mounting and then he has moved on to eat food but probably because i'm close he might move away another one has just entered here they're going to lay an egg most probably but yeah this is the food for the males and you don't want the males to become overweight you've just seen the male that was mounting over here you don't want the males to become overweight i think this is a nice indication of the difference you know this is a female and that's a male over there and you can see you've seen the female it's come close to the male eater feeder and you can see how low it is even if you try to stretch its neck it wouldn't get to this yeah you can see another one right there it even passes under but the male wouldn't pass under the male would have to you know bend to try to pass under this is another female over here so the females can't access this but the males can very easily access this so the the reason we do that separation is because if the males eat the nutritious food of the females they'll become overweight They'll become overweight and they won't be able to mount the females so it's very important that their feed is separated because their feed has different contents over there we have a trough that has lots of males lots of males over there you can see them lots of males feeding from there and it's only males it's not a mistake that it's only males you can see a female feeding but from under yeah if a female try to feed from up there its head would never get closed it would never get inside because yeah it's tight and it's only made for the big boys and then with the birds feeding you can see the litter inside here the litter inside the broiler houses is probably not the very best in quality but it's not terrible now this one is actually still quite new so it's dry it's dry but it's nice yeah and you can see the thickness it's it's at least two inches in thickness yeah at least two inches in thickness and this is ideal this is good of course with the broilers you need to do the litter changing a little bit more often let me take you to a more realistic place you know of what you expect in the broiler house maybe this is it huh let me move to a place that's closer to the middle yeah so you can see that over there we have broilers we have a laying box we have broilers over there we have you know feeders and and this is the middle point and you can see what the litter looks like eh? You can see the litter. It's probably not like the driest, but it's not wet. You can see it. It's not wet. Yeah. So what we do in order to maintain it 
is that we just keep raking it and turning it yeah you rake it and turn it so that it remains dry yeah that's not bad that's not bad at all you don't want to find caked places of course around the areas where the buds stand consistently you'll find a bit of caking for example if i got near where the feeders are like this place it's certainly a bit more caked you get it's certainly a bit more caked but that's okay that's understandable if the buds are standing there consistently like they are what do you expect it's going to get clumped together but the advantage is broilers get done with feeding really quickly in probably the next 30 minutes all the feed inside here will be done it's still early in the morning but all the feed will be done and we shall be done with feeding them for the day if you feed them a lot of food they consume their food in maximum an hour maybe an hour and a half they don't you know take a very long time to finish their food because they have huge appetites if you give them too much food the females are going to become too big and they won't lay eggs the males are going to become too big and they won't be able to mount so they finish their food quickly and for the rest of the day you know they are fasting <laughs> they are fasting so the advantage is that once they get done feeding they're just moving around pecking then they start scratching the ground and then we can come in with our forked hose or rakes and then we just start turning the litter and make sure that it's not caked. So ideally, that's how the breeder broiler farm is being run. It's awesome, guys. It's really, really, really awesome. And this is what ensures that we get good quality day old broiler chicks. The other thing that helps with the litter drying is, of course, the aeration. As you can see on the side, yeah? The aeration, there's lots of air that can come in. And that ensures that, you know, the litter remains dry. Of course, sometimes it's a problem. We have a very, you see, you can see the roof, how far out it moves. It moves at almost two meters out. But sometimes when it gets really windy, you'll have a bit of rain come inside, you know, splashes. But that's not an issue, yeah? You just turn the litter and in a short time, it will be dry. In a very, very short time, it will be dry. As long as it's aerated and you wreck it, in a short time, it will be dry. So like I've said, it's very, very important that what inside the house goes on nicely for you to have a good quality of the day old chicks. And I can't be more proud of what we are doing. So yeah, if you want to order day old chicks with us, phone number in the description below. Just go and send us a message. Uh, we'll be able to get you the birds. That's if you're in Uganda for now. Lots of love. Catch you very soon with another video. Bye-bye.